Okay, now we're gonna quantify this. One of the ways that you can tell something's an electrolytic cell is when it's drawn, it typically has one beaker, and then you'll see some sort of symbol that indicates like a battery is attached to it, or it tells you there's a power supply um, connected to the electrodes that are going into a solution. The galvanic and voltaic cells have two beakers, salt bridge, two electrodes connected by wires, solutions in each one. So with this electrolytic cell, for example, if a current is supplied to a solution of copper sulfate, well, what we have in here in terms of this metal, that copper is a plus two ion. So when electrons are supplied, they are going to reduce that copper. For every two electrons that are supplied, I'm gonna get one copper out. That idea here, one mole of copper needs two moles of electrons is gonna give me an idea of how much electricity it's gonna take to produce a certain amount of copper. The way that we quantify the copper that are electrons is um, the, there's a better way to say this, the rate of electron delivery. How fast the electrons are coming out of the wire is gonna tell us what the current is. So current is how much charge is delivered per unit time. Typically it's in coulombs per second. Um, the units of currents are amps. And amps are equal to one coulomb per second. That you need to know, potentially the worst box I've ever drawn right there. Um, the one electron is 1 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So one mole of electrons is about 96,500 coulombs. This value here is known as Faraday's constant. So I can then, if I know how many coulombs, I can figure out how many moles of electrons there are. And we use a formula that's written as C equals N times F. In this formula, C is coulombs of charge. N is the actual moles of electrons. So not like the other N that was the moles of electrons canceled. This one's the literal um, moles of electrons. And F is 96,500. Um, these equations, this one and this one, are what's going to allow me to solve a problem like this. What mass of copper can be plated out in two hours using 0.8 amps? So amps equals coulombs over seconds. My time's in hours, so I'm going to have to convert it to seconds. So 0.8 amps equals coulombs over two hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds, or 2 times 3,600 is 7,200 seconds times 0.8 tells me that there's 5,760 coulombs delivered during this time. Okay, next I want to figure out how many electrons that is. C equals NF. 5760 is going to equal the moles of electrons times Faraday's constant. So dividing this number by 96,500. Gives me N, which is 0.0597 moles of electrons. I need the moles of copper. What I want to use to get the moles of copper is this reaction that I determined earlier is what is going on in this solution. So from that reaction of Cu plus two, plus two electrons gives me Cu, I can do a mole ratio to go from here to here. So 0 0.0597 moles of electrons times one over two gives me 0 0.0298 moles of copper. Um, I want the grams of copper. times 63.5, giving me about 1.9 grams. 